Hey y'all, Pastor Andre here. I wanted to take a second this morning and share just an encouraging word with you today. You see, in Matthew chapter 5, there's this moment where Jesus steps up onto this ridge side and, and tons of people are gathering around him and he begins to teach all of these things to him. Um, we call this moment the Sermon on the Mount. And, and the very first thing that Jesus begins to talk about are, are this, this big list of all these blessings from God. We, we call this list the Beatitudes. And, and Jesus goes through one after another of how people in their everyday life can begin to experience God's blessings in such real, tangible ways. It's rather, it's just pretty incredible. Well, right after he finishes that list of Beatitudes, you know, Jesus kind of, he pans around, he looks at everyone's faces and he sees this massive crowd in front of them. And, and then in chapter five, verse 14, Jesus says this, I want you to tune in, listen to this. He says, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Be the light of the world. You see, right now, many of us are experiencing this uncomfortable tension inside of us. You see, as the country around us is beginning to reopen, many of us are going back to work. We're going back to the job site, to the shop, to the office. And many of us are now you know, beginning to leave the house and go out to the park or to the grocery store or just to get out and take a walk or to get out of our house. And, and what's happening, whether we realize it or not, what's happening is that there's this tension welling up inside of us because now we're starting to get worried because now we're being around other people. You see, for the last month or so, we've been fortified in our homes and, and whether we chose it or not, we developed this fear of other people. And now we're finding ourselves in a really unusual place because now we're around our friends, we're around our family, we're around other people, coworkers, and now we're, we're afraid and we have this tension. You see, this season that we're in right now, it kind of reminds me of the passing of a storm. You see, when the storm is rolling in, the clouds go black, the sky is black, and, and there's chaos as lightning is crashing around us, and the rain is falling, and, and the thunder is rolling. But when it's all over, and it all begins to pass, and the clouds begin to part, and the beautiful sun shines right through. You see, right now, as we're working our way forward in life in this season with the, with the virus and everything, as things are reopening, as life is going back to normal, the clouds are starting to part. And now more than ever, God wants us to embrace our purpose, our calling to be the light of the world. God wants to use you right now, today, to bring his joy, his hope, his laughter, his peace into the lives of other people. You see, I, I just want to encourage you as you're out and about today, as you're at work or even at the store, I want to encourage you to be intentional in sharing the joy and love of our amazing God. You see, many people are still wearing masks. Maybe some of us are. And so we can't really smile at one another. We have to intentionally, verbally acknowledge other people. So if we're passing a stranger in the grocery store, say hi, say good morning, say, I hope you have a great day. You see, as we're seeing our coworkers, at the office or at the, at the shop, we've got to lean in and, and talk to one another and say, hey, how are you doing? What have you been up to? What's happening in your life? What projects did you work on? What did you do while you were at home for a month? 
We've got to verbally acknowledge people. And many of us, we've been missing that verbal communication, that connection with people around us. And so it's time for us to embrace our calling to be the light of the world and to be the ones who take the first step and begin to bring God's joy into people's day simply by saying hi and do it with such a joyful tone. All right, and, and listen, I, I, I wanna just encourage you to, to understand that, that people right now are beginning to tip their toe into the waters of human interaction. Everyone has a different comfort level right now of, of embracing each other, right? Many people are not okay right now with getting a hug. Maybe they're okay with a handshake. Maybe some people are not okay with a handshake, but they would rather have a fist bump. And maybe not a fist bump, maybe more of an elbow tap or a foot five, right? That's a, that's a high five with your foot. <laughs> but whatever way possible, I just simply want to encourage you to understand people had their different comfort levels, so meet them where they are. But in every way possible, I just want to encourage you to embrace the reason why God made you. To embrace your purpose, to be the light of the world. That's what we all share as children of God, as people who are following Jesus. We all have that same thing, that same calling to be the light of the world. And so I wanna encourage you today, and tomorrow, every day, right now, we've gotta to start today to be intentional and begin to share God's light because now the clouds are starting to open now is the time for us to share God's contagious joy, to be people of hope, to share jokes and make people laugh, to bring that sunshine that warms people's soul in their heart. All right? So be who God has made you to be. Be the light of the world.